Hey everybody, welcome to Let Me Tell Ya. I'm Ellie, and let me tell you a little bit about what this show is before I really get started. So, what this show is about is me telling embarrassing, sad, crazy, I'm an idiot type of stories about like boys from junior high, high school, before, all the way up to like I'm married now. I don't have my rings on, but I am married now. Um, so, just kind of everything before that. And the reason why I want to do this is because I think that some of my stories are probably pretty relatable and maybe the type of stories that someone could actually learn something from or just laugh at what an idiot I am. <laughs> the silly, stupid things I did anyways with boys and with my crushes on boys and just some stuff that I really I had to learn along the way I just think could be helpful so yeah that's why I'm doing this series that's why I'm doing this um now let me tell ya let me tell ya um <laughs> this is gonna be like a 14 part series and then let me tell ya after that we'll see we'll go from there I might take ideas from people like what stories they want to hear and everything but we're starting right now from the very beginning with um my boy stories so, as you can see from the title of the episode, this is the earlier. So I'm going through a few of like my very first crushes, kind of, and what happened there. And there's just kind of a couple pretty silly stories that I want to tell you. Starting in preschool, that's pretty early, I, I guess, for some people to have crushes and stuff. But I had a crush on this boy, and I don't really remember this at all. I remember one little memory with him. But my mom told me that I told her I was going to marry this boy. Now, here's what happened with this kid that I remember. The only thing I remember is I was going to the bathroom in this one single stall. And you know how in preschool they don't have, or like younger kids, they don't have locks on the doors. Because um, they want to be able to get to the kid if there's a problem. So there's no lock. And I didn't knock, um, and I opened the door, and there's this kid that I had a crush on, um, peeing. And so that was the first time that I saw a wiener. Really awkward. I remember it being really awkward. And so I don't know if I told my mom before or after that that I was going to marry this child. <laughs> that's, that's up for discussion. So that's the first kid, which I don't know what his name was, so that's fine. The second one I'm going to talk about is this kid named Austin. So I'll call him Austin, and that's all I'm going to call him. Austin was this boy. It was like the boy that everyone has a crush on. Every girl likes Austin, and that was not lost on me. <laughs> and I chased Austin on the playground at recess and, you know, flirted with him all the time. I was such a boy-crazy little child. I mean, this is, I'm talking like first grade right now, and I was just a boy-crazy kid. So... This is first grade, and I remember this one girl, Nicole, I was talking to her about them, and how, how much, like, I just loved Austin, and how cute he was, and she was like, do you want to do it with Austin? And I was like, do what? What does that even mean? <laughs> and I don't remember if she ever did end up describing what that meant to me, but the fact that that memory actually stands out kind of makes me think that she must, she must have told me at some point, but anyways. So I had to move from that school when I was in second grade and move somewhere else. And I definitely thought about Austin over the years. I remembered his laugh. Um, I, I don't think I could possibly imitate it, but I do remember like that. As I got older, um, you know, there was a couple times where I was like, I wonder where, what Austin's up to, especially with like the coming of like Facebook and everything, I was like, I I should look I should look Austin up and see if I can find him. So lo and behold, I actually did find him on Facebook after I was um, I was studying with a friend in college. So I'm talking like years later. This is college. And I'm still thinking about this kid, apparently. And I was studying with this guy who happened to actually know him. I don't remember how that came up in conversation, but he knew Austin. And so I found Austin on Facebook, and I just opened with, <laughs> Hi, we went to this school together. I used to chase you around the playground. <laughs> that was my opening line. 
And I said, I'm not trying to be creepy. <laughs> and his reply to me, I kid you not, was this exact words. Your face looks kind of familiar, so I dubbed the non-creepy. That's what he said. And we never talked to each other again. <laughs> that was it. There was no catching up after that. So there's Austin. <laughs> no idea where he is now. That was... I think he must have found me creepy because he never talked to me again, so there it is. Next, I'm going to tell you about a boy that I'm going to call Phil. So Phil was a boy that I liked in elementary school um, for a few, a few years in a row, you know, on and off type of a silly little elementary school crush thing. And it was very up and down. This was one of my most tumultuous relationships, as tumultuous as a third and fourth grade relationship can be. But I really liked this boy. Um, we had this one little class that we had to do, you know, kind of like PE, music class, th those kind of like separate classes. We had this other one that was a class where you did like arts and crafts from other cultures. And we were sitting in this class and we decided we were going to hold hands. That was a big deal. I don't even think I held a boy's hand up to this point yet. I really don't think I had. So we were all like in the little tiny plastic chairs with like the four legs. I don't know if you know what that means, but we were all lined up and him and I like had our hands like like tucked behind like trying to hide it that we were holding hands. Um, someone asked us later if we'd been holding hands and we're like, no, mm -mm, holding hands. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> then one day we decided we were going to kiss. I'd never had a kiss before, so this was going to be my first kiss. And we went into, there was like an upper and lower playground and we went to the lower playground where there was less recess teachers kind of lurking about and there was this um like what we called the yellow tube which is like one of those tubes you crawl through you know and we like snuck inside there and we sat in there for a while I mean like the whole recess we just sat there like staring at each other like are we, are we, are we gonna do this are we really gonna do this and then, you know, the whistles blow for the end of recess. Because recesses, do you know recesses were like 20 minutes long? And it felt so long. They were like 15 and 20 minutes. It felt so long. But anyways. So the, re the whistle blows. And we're still in the tube. Just like. And then finally, it just, it happened. It happened. And it was so fast. <laughs> and so small it was just like does that make sense <laughs> I remember like as we were going inside my my friend I had this friend that knew that I was gonna be trying to kiss Phil in this tube and she all of a sudden she's like my best friend and all of a sudden she's like I'm gonna tell a teacher on you because you were kissing and I just lied to her and I was like we never did and she was like oh yeah I'm like yeah I promise, we never did. We just sat in there the whole time. I think she bought it. And we get inside and I don't remember exactly what was happening, but some boys were giving me a hard time. I was feeling bullied, I was feeling picked on. And so I go up to Phil, who was supposed to be like my boyfriend now, cause he kissed me. Like, no, you're my boyfriend now. And I went up to him and I was like, Phil, these boys are giving me a hard time over here. Do something about it, right? Like stick up for your woman. And he was like, I don't like you anymore jerk you kissed me and then I don't like you anymore like 10 minutes later let that be a lesson let that be a lesson to you don't go any farther than you're comfortable with because that boy will probably break your heart <laughs> so that was Phil I did find Phil actually also years later on Facebook just like Austin and I just messaged him and of course, kind of like Austin, I was a little open in the message and I was just like, hey, do you, well, um, I guess I was just like, hey, do you remember me? And he was like, no. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh, well, um, we went to this school together and you were, we were each other's first kiss. And he was like, well, I feel like a jerk for not remembering that. I'm like, whatever, it was fourth grade. And that was the last time we were talking to each other. Let us go. Now I have to tell you about a boy I'm calling Chase. I have to tell you about Chase. So Chase, he was like my obsession 
especially especially in fifth grade I was obsessed with this kid he was blonde kind of like you know like sporty and just really popular um, and I just had a huge crush on him so and I remember one day going down to the lower playground where there's like a basketball court and he was playing basketball with some friends and I decided this is a great time to tell him that I love him it's a great it's a great time to tell him that right so I go down there and he's playing with his friends and so in front of everybody while he's still playing basketball I'm like kind of walking around with him like a little dork and I'm just like I need to tell you something Chase Chase I need to tell you something I was like I really like you like I really really like you and he just like looks at me I'm like you know you know what I mean like, I really like you and he was like yeah I get it didn't get anything back that was my way of telling him I love him and I think he got that Ugh. and then uh, fast forward to sixth grade so that's the next year and we're in middle school now and I had this friend who had a huge crush on him because everybody has a huge crush on Chase just like Austin everybody has a crush on Chase there was a dance coming up and she wanted to ask him because it was I think it might have been the type where girls ask the boys maybe I don't remember but she wanted to ask him to the dance and she wrote him a note asking him to the dance and she didn't want to be seen putting the note in his locker like yeah it's like those days like before everybody was texting he like slipped notes in each of his lockers she asked me if I could put it in the locker for him and I was like uh for her I mean and I was like yeah I could put the note in the locker for you and so I just walk over there like nonchalantly like did through with my friends no and I just like slip it inside and no big deal right and of course until later that day or maybe the next day and Chase approaches me and he was like no Ellie I will not go to the dance with you that was literally what he said to me there was no I heard you put a note in my locker there was no like um like I'm sorry I'm just not interested it was just no Ellie I will not go to the dance with you but then I was just like that wasn't me I didn't write that because of course my friend did not put her name her name on the note why why she wouldn't put her name on though and ask a boy to a dance be like will you go to the dance with me yes or no no name I don't know but he thought it was mine and I was like that wasn't me that's not my note I put it in the note f I put it in your locker for you for this girl and he and I don't remember what came of that, but so I don't know if he believed me or not. And I don't think they ever ended up going to a dance together or liking each other or, well, I don't think he ever liked her. And he was kind of a jerk. Yeah. So way later, and I think this was like, I want to say summer after my freshman year of college or maybe summer after I graduated high school. I'm not sure. But I found him on Facebook. Surprise. And, um... Asked if you wanted to hang out. I mean, we're like 18 now. It's been years. Like, want to hang out? Want to chill? And he was like, yeah, sure. And we hung out and we had a really good time, but it wasn't like anything romantic or anything. We just had a good time. But of course, that little girl inside of me was still like, oh my gosh, it's Chase. And he texted me a few times after that, but we didn't talk very much. But then, and I'm talking years again, years probably almost the same amount of years since it had been between that so that would be like between 12 and 18 years old and then again when I was yeah uh, no, I was 25 so it was even longer it was seven years since I had seen him last and I'm going to a party at my friend's house back home with with my husband well actually no at the time he was my fiance so with my fiance going to a party back home with my fiance and um we're going to a convenience store to pick up some drinks for the party and I'm standing there kind of aware there's like a guy standing there staring at me and I thought there was someone else um this like guy my dad works with which a long story and I didn't want to talk to this person so I kind of ignored that this there was this person staring at me and it was just kind of I was kind of spaced out kind of not really fully aware of what was going on and then all of a sudden it registered that they were saying my name to me. I was totally spacing out what was wrong with me. And then, um, and then I hear him say, well, guess not, and start to walk away. And then I, and all of a sudden just like everything clicks. And I look and I'm almost like, Chase? It was Chase. 
like years later and he was like yeah hi and I was like oh my gosh hi and like I introduced him to my fiance and everything and he was wasted I mean this was like I don't remember exactly what time it was but it was not late it was like maybe one o'clock in the afternoon and this kid is wasted and he was there to buy a toothbrush. <laughs> I don't know why, but he said he was there to buy a toothbrush at this little convenience store. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, well, it's really crazy and really cool seeing you. And obviously at this point, I don't have that little girl flutter anymore, but still, it's like, well, I was Chase, that's crazy. Um, and so my, my fiance and I went off on our way to the party and we're there. And I, on our way there, I was like, wouldn't it be hilarious if Chase was going to that party, which, let me tell you that, now I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> that Chase was from a different school district. I had already, I had moved school districts since then. And the friend's party I was going to was from my newer one, from the one that I graduated from. And so I was, that was definitely like joking around. Like, wouldn't it be funny if Chase showed up at the party? And we go there and I decide to like, just, just kind of, let's just, let's just test this out. And so I asked my friend whose birthday party I was at, and I was like, do you know Chase? And I said his last name and everything, his real name. And she was like, yeah, do you know Chase? And I was like, yeah, I went to elementary school with him. And she was like, he's coming here tonight. And I was like, what? Chase is coming here. I just saw him at a convenience store, up, the, con the convenience store up the road. I just saw him. So yeah, Chase came to that party. Um, for whatever reason, he was like, a mile and a half away and it took him like three hours to get there <laughs> I don't know what he was doing hopefully walking hopefully walking because like I said he was wasted he got there with full intentions of sleeping with my friend and I kind of joked around with her like play out my fifth grade fantasies but I don't think she was interested because he was like forward forward <laughs> just put it that way um yeah so that is basically all my stories about Chase. I haven't talked to him since then. That was a little over a year ago. Oh, not even a year ago, but I haven't even talked to him since then. So, but that's Chase. Um, ridiculous. And um, I have one more quick story for you before we wrap this up. And this is about a guy who I never, I, I haven't thought of a name for him. We'll call him Jerk. We'll call him Jerk. And he was also from my middle school, my, that first middle school where Chase was. And I had a huge crush on him, too, of course. And um, he never really reciprocated that. So one day I was in the hallway by my locker, and he comes up to me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's approaching me. And he goes, Ellie, will you go out with me? I lost it. I was like, are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I am not kidding you. Like a TV show. Everybody near those lockers, which was our homeroom basically, started cracking up, including him. And I'm not just talking like, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. I mean like doubling over in laughter. Like, ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. Everybody. Because he was kidding. Well, that concludes the first episode of Let Me Tell Ya, the early years. That was before I really started liking boys. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, that was before um, some of my more serious stories, like more actual boyfriend type things. I hope you got something out of that. Um, more than anything, I think it's just kind of funny, the some of the stuff I went through. And also for some of you to relate to, like when you're that young and if you are watching this and you are around that age range, like 12, 10 to 12 years old, please know that Look, boys are dumb. They're dumb when they're that young and they continue. Not all of them, I suppose. And But boys can be super dumb. And that's clear from those stories I told you. I was also a little abrasive and a little like in your face. Like, I like you, by the way. So that concludes this episode of La Metzalia. I hope you enjoyed it. And my next episode will be called Hey Donovan. I can't wait to tell you about Donovan gonna be a good one so stay tuned for that I'll probably be posting that next week wherever that is from now so guys thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already I would love that and comment below if any of these stories were really relatable for you and please 
tell me how ridiculous you think I was because I know I was. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. I still remember that little child's laugh. <laughs> creepy to say and I said I'm talking talk I would say I and I just have a text from my husband I okay um <laughs> I mean I <laughs> first of all we there was so this was we had <laughs> words I like you by the way <laughs>